Hey folks, so on this uh, short video, we're going to talk about um, what it is that you're actually selling. Uh, some examples uh, in a previous visit video, we showed some websites, so we're going to show those uh, again, but in terms of um, the earnings from those websites. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, uh, what the commission structure is and then also uh, how you go about generating um, uh, a sales funnel and what that means. All right, let's talk a little bit about what each website comes with, whether it is a standard site, an e-commerce site, whatever the type of website build is. These are things that can be included with the site. Um, they can, generally they're going to be included uh, free uh, within the site build um, and um, you know we'll talk about how during when you're trying to close a customer how you could use some of this to your advantage but um, so for every every customer we build a completely unique uh, custom built theme which you know a theme is the layouts and the colors and the visual appearance of the site uh, we make everything mobile friendly so that it can be used um, on any mobile device. Uh, so a regular desktop, a tablet, a mobile phone, um, and it'll look good on all of those uh, views. Um, we use, for most of our websites, uh, we use uh, WordPress. And WordPress is a content management system that is on somewhere close to 40 percent of all websites in the world so it's uh, by far the most dominant platform and for good reason um, and i think actually half of all new websites are done in wordpress so i think i recall that as being the percentage so it's uh it's far and away the number one content management system out there um, for every customer we provide uh, free plugins that are normally, you know, pay, paid plugins. So each customer would normally have to pay for this stuff. Um, but we've bought agency licenses for these plugins so that we can apply them to every customer. And, uh, and that allows us to build all the different functionality they need for the most part within these plugins. And it also provides a way for the customer to grow their website um, and and for the most part whatever the needs are these plugins can can provide that so Elementor Pro is a page builder and that is um, a, a very easy way to build page content um, you know as a independent sales rep we're going to show you that you know you're not going to be required to ever you know really do it but but it's good so that you understand what the value is to the consumer. Um, Rank Math is a search engine optimization plugin. It's very good. And, uh, you know, we, we add that in there and we use that when we first build the site to get, get it set up properly. Uh, and for long term uh, SEO success, um, that plugin. Uh, can help either the business owner do things or help us um, in our different packages that we offer to the customer. Um, WP Forms is a forms plugin, so any type of form you can think of, um, you know, with payment buttons or reg user registration or memberships or I mean just any kind of forms. Uh, this plugin uh, provides that capability. Croco Block. CrocoBlock is a collection of tools that allow you to customize the functionality of, a, of your website in ways that previously would require some serious programming. And so it's, um, it's an amazing uh, collection of tools and to be able to uh, include that in everybody's site um, you know, as long as they're a customer of ours, uh, is is awesome. Um, we provide uh, what we call SEO base for every customer. So we build the website from the ground up to be Google friendly. 
and um, so a SEO base um, when we build a website we want from the beginning the very beginning for that website to be built in the way that Google wants it to be built and so that the search engines uh, I mean Google in particular knows exactly uh, the information to find where to find it how to find it and does it does it match what their intention is uh, for people for the experience for people to have when they come to the website and so there's a lot that goes into that but that is built into every website so that people get started off on the right foot uh, we do uh, Google my business setup if they do not have a Google my business account um, these days they're, they're Google changes the name on this stuff but the primary thing is is we get them set up in Google so that um, so that you kind of cross all the bases with Google Google Analytics setup and incorporation into the website so that we can get that uh, analytic data which is important for uh, business owners to uh, to be able to grasp uh, what that means to their business and um, we'll read that kind of stuff um, once you're on board uh, in more detail but it's important to have google analytics built in from from the beginning uh, we set up uh, a blog page uh, with social share uh, buttons so that's that's very important these days that the business owner um, put content on the website regularly and then share that content to their social media profiles so we designed that in from the beginning and make sure that the, the customers understand uh, what its purpose is. Um, and if you're not sure, we'll, we'll review with you uh, after the onboarding process. We include contact forms. Uh, of course, everybody knows what that is. Uh, newsletter, sign up, um, call to action buttons. So you're, you're familiar with all that kind of stuff. And then online chat, there's a free uh, online chat tool that we include now uh, if the customer wants it um, but we will include it for free and uh, it, it's really great it works with a mobile app so when anybody opens the chat and says something the, the, the owner gets an immediate alert through the mobile app that there's a customer and they can chat with them right through that app and it appears right on the website it's really really cool functionality and it doesn't cost a thing so so it's really cool to have that, and that's kind of the general things that every customer gets. All right, let's talk about optional add-ons that people can get. Uh, of course, optional add-ons means more money for you as the independent sales rep. So we offer hosting packages. Uh, we have a lot of customers that have their own hosting. Many times they have their, if they're a business, they may have like a you know uh, they may have their own internal IT team or their own internal servers or something like that and they want to put a website on that so that's a circumstance where they would not need our our own hosting um, but we do offer hosting to every client if they want it and uh, we would prefer to be able to move clients uh, to our hosting whenever possible so that we have full control over it uh, our hosting packages include uh, um, dedicated servers so that so we buy the dedicated servers and then we have uh, a tech team that monitors that 24-7 uh, and we put clients on these servers um, and that way we know everything um, that the clients uh, what their websites are doing on the servers what the performance is like and we can manage that 100% um, and so that way our customers are completely segregated from any other uh, type of uh, customer out there so it's it's really the best type of uh, hosting scenario to be in for most companies um, we include SSL certificates for free when they host with us uh, our, our servers have solid-state storage which provides really good performance um, rather than a regular hard disk drive uh, we have server-side cache that we can turn on for each website uh, and client 
and that speeds up performance, web application firewall, so that many, many attacks are prevented before they ever get to the server with the web application firewall uh, and how that's set up and managed. Um, free email accounts. Uh, there's a little star there because there's many times where using the, the email accounts on the server may not be the best scenario for the client, but we do offer the free email accounts um, if that's going to work for them. And we can discuss that with you on an individual client to client basis. Um, cPanel access, if you're not familiar with cPanel, that is a uh, what they call a control panel, which you've, you might be familiar with if you've ever had your own website. You log into a an administrative area where you can view the files and where you can view the databases and where you can add emails and where you can, you know, add a, a content management system or things of that nature. cPanel uh, gives you that capability. Uh, and we do weekly and or daily backups uh, for the clients so that their database and their files are backed up in case there's a problem. And a lot of other stuff goes along, along with those uh, hosting packages. Maintenance packages. So maintenance is really, you know, these platforms today get updated all the time. I mean, there are security updates. There are functionality updates. Um, there's just all kinds of updates that are being done uh, to keep the content management system functioning well. And so what we do is we provide the service to do that for the client so that they don't have to worry about it. They don't have to worry about their website crashing, or going down, or not working because of updates and stuff like that. They can let the professionals deal with it and then um, and there's packages for that. Uh, content updates. We can also do uh, any updates that the, the client needs to their website. So we have packages that include that. So you know they're busy running their store, but they need products added, and we can go ahead and add those products for them. Or they need to add blog content or something like that to their site. You know they've they've written up something in Microsoft Word or on Notepad or in an email or something, and they really want to have that added as uh, as blog content. Or they've generated an advertisement or something like that, and we can go ahead and, and add that to their website. Uh, and of course, search engine optimization, social media management, pay-per-click management. Uh, if you're not familiar with the differences between these things, we'll we'll discuss them. But it all, <coughs> excuse me, it all involves online marketing and being able to manage that uh, for the for the client. Um, a quick note on that is that clients still pay for advertising, so so they're still paying for the Google. Uh, advertising, they're still paying for Facebook advertising or something like that. Uh, and they still may be paying for uh, social media posts and, and things of that nature, but the management of all of that and determining, you know, kind of what needs to be done and where, what platform, that's all part of these packages. Um, now we do, you know, deal with a lot of different kinds of clients. And so depending upon what their need is, when we consult with you and with the client, we can come up with a custom plan just for them. So it may have some hosting, it may have some maintenance, it may have some SEO, it may have a variety of things built in this custom package, but, um, but we can build that specifically for the client and we'll figure out together what price point makes sense for everybody and um, and then that will be billed on a on a regular monthly basis. Here are some examples of the websites that we mentioned earlier. Uh, examples of um, the various things that go into uh, evaluating clients and what you're what you're going to make uh, as an independent sales rep. So if we look uh, at this top line where it says type, you know, for each of those those businesses that we mentioned earlier, the websites, we did a uh, type of business. So it was either e-commerce or business. You can see the build cost right below that. 
you know, obviously, um, you know, that's what we ended up ultimately charging the client. And then uh, the next line, um, which is very important, is what was the lowest competitor to us? And so when you end up closing business, it's a really good idea to ask, you know, once, once you've closed the deal, you know, some, at some point during the build process, you know, ask the customer why it is that they chose to go with, with you and with XApp Design, okay? And then they're going to tell you a variety of things, and one of them may be price. Um, and we find that uh, many times, not always, you know, we're not always out there trying to be the lowest cost, but, but many times we will come in um, lower than everybody else simply because our, our knowledge and process allows us to, to do things um, with lower man hours um, involved in the build. Uh, so on that custard stand product or, or uh, uh, project, you know, we saved them thousands of dollars. Uh, same with BS bourbon barrels. Um, you know, we came in half. Um, with real corp, nobody else could even do the real corp one. So there really weren't any other competitors at that point that we were going up against. Uh, you know, they just needed someone to do the job. Um, and we settled on a price that, that, that would work for everybody. Um, and then uh, Graziano's at Dunbar, we came in half of what other people were, were quoting them. Um, package type is referring to the monthly package that they have on a, uh, you know, that's billed to them every month. So this is after the website build. And once the, once the website was launched, what are we charging that customer every month to provide services to them? And so this is um, a commissionable product as well, right? These are those other fee, other services we talked about. And, you know, these are an example, you know, four kind of representative examples of what those packages might be. And, um, you know, so two of these are custom and two of them are just hosting. And, and that means hosting only, not maintenance or anything like that. It's just hosting the site. Um, if it's custom, then it means there's a variety of things in there. Uh, and it's based on the number of hours that are in the package. So in the case with, um, with the uh, custard stand, we're in at a little under two hours of development um, and consulting time, whatever, whatever we include in there, uh, basically it's a couple hours worth of time. And uh, for real corp, it's a, um, I think it was five hours of billable time in there. I forget the exact, but, um, but in any case, so that's, you know, you, you make your income, your initial income at the site for each of these builds. And then you also make a reoccurring income on the monthly uh, package. And then that gives you what your total first year income is for that client. And you can see, you know, if it was these four clients that you sold, uh, it would be uh, five, you know, somewhere a little under 6,000 for those four clients. So these are a little above uh, what I gave you as an average earlier um, in, in terms of earnings per site, but, um, but even so, it's still fairly representative of, of what you're going to see out there. And, um, and this, you know, you can use this type of, of spreadsheet to build your own understanding of income, of your own income. So, so once you get into this sales process, you want to know you know, how many leads did it take you to get a close? Um, based on how many closes you have, what's, what's your income per client? And then what you can do is you can then walk that back and you can compare your income per client to how many hours you're spending calling people, how many appointments you have to set up, 
So, so you can go, you can go from the very top of your funnel, which is the initial contact with people, down to the meetings with people, down to closing the sale, and then down to the to the uh, commission per sale. And you can very easily figure out what you need to do to make the income level that you want to make. All right, so let's talk about earnings. So this is what your your main goal is, obviously, as an independent sales rep, is to earn some money. So um, what we do is we pay 20% on all uh, direct sales. So it doesn't matter what type of product it is. We're going to pay 20% out on that as long as that product is being billed or uh, is being, uh, you know, billed to the customer. And... Um, if it's a website and stuff like that, you know, when you first sell something, uh, you get 10% up front. So that's half of it up front. And then you get the other half once that website goes live. So if it's a website build, uh, it gets broken down that way. Or if it's a custom project build, the same thing would apply is you would get a portion of that up front and in uh, a portion uh, later. Now, once you get going and you get rolling and you're into your second month or something, that doesn't even matter because at that point, you're just getting your, your commission paid to you as stuff happens. So it's only really when you're first starting that you even pay attention to how that split uh, happens. Um, now, as far as bonuses go, uh, all you need to do is sell five sites in a month, which is a, a very attainable goal and uh, you would get 5% additional uh, for all the sales uh, that month. So that would be um, 15%, or I'm sorry, would be 25% uh, on all sales that month. And if you sell 10 sites in a month, then we up that to 10%. So you would end up earning 30% commission on all sales uh, for that month. So that's that's huge. That's not just website sales either. That's any of the sales that you had during that month, whatever that is, uh, you'd end up getting 30%. So obviously we focus on sites as a barometer. So that's why we sell, if you sell five sites, you get that. If you sell 10 sites, then you get that. It doesn't matter whether it's a business site or an e-commerce site, um, but if you sell five or 10 in a month, then, then you get that additional bonus, which applies to everything that you've been selling. Uh, so as an example, we've got down here, which we expect to kind of be the average that, that people would do, um, at least in their, you know, their first, by the end of their first six months and maybe through their first year or something like that would be seven sites per month. But this is our target. This is what seven sites per month is really what our goal is for independent sales reps. And then if we can get people beyond that, then that's great. But this is kind of what we expect as, a, as an average, uh, what we're building our system around. So if the average uh, sale is, is $4,000, you know you'd have $28,000 in sales in a month. Um, that would be $5,600 at 20%. But because you're selling seven, that would be an additional 5%. Um, so your your total monthly earnings would come out to $7,000. And then the way to think about that is, is it's basically $1,000 per site that you sell on average. And that's really where we want to be uh, with our sales reps and with our clientele is we, we want a sales rep um, to make that for every site is we'd like to see them make $1,000 per site, uh, which would provide really, really good incentive uh, for growth and, um, and you know, motivation to, uh, to press on with sales and stuff. So, so that's what the kind of average earnings should look like for people and kind of what the average sale would look like. And, um, and we'll go into more detail about how you build this uh, with a sales funnel later. Building your sales funnel. So if you're not familiar with a sales funnel, it's um, it's where a lot of your, your leads kind of go into this funnel at the top and you've got a, it's pretty wide. You got a bunch of different types of leads in there and then you work those leads and eventually a sale comes out the bottom of the funnel. 
<laughs> just like putting oil in your car. You pour it in at the top and then oil comes out the end of the funnel and the engine and there you go. So that's what a sales funnel is. Uh, it's a very most basic concept. Um, in order to, to build a sales funnel, we for for our independent sales reps, you know, we recommend starting with Google, Yelp, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And you know, you're going to need an account with Facebook and LinkedIn, um, and with Google and Yelp, those are search directories. So you don't need a, a separate account with them. But but we're going to show you how to use those to get leads, uh, high quality leads uh, every day. Um, and we're going to focus on Google primarily uh, as a as a tool, but but you can use the others along with it. Um, you know, we've had people over time that focus on LinkedIn um, primarily or Facebook. Um, actually, uh, when I was talking to a gal the other day, uh, she was talking about Yelp and she used Yelp all the time uh, to find leads. So. Uh, but we focus primarily on Google, and that's what we're gonna we're gonna talk to you about uh, going forward. Um, we recommend uh, when you're when you're going through Google that you kind of focus on one business type at a time when you're building your leads and calling on them, and that's simply because it makes it easier. And uh, so if you want to focus on on one week, you want to focus on all the different lawyers one week on the restaurants in your area, the local restaurants, um, a week on bars or landscaping or whatever it is. Um, we recommend focusing on one at a time because it's it's easier to go through Google and you, you, you get an understanding of that particular segment. And the more you understand that particular segment, the better off your closing ratio is going to be. Um, because when you talk to your, when you're cold calling and you're talking to your, your potential um, new customers, you know, the more familiarity you have with, with their industry, um, the more buy-in you get from them during the call. Um, so to start off with, you're going to create a, a spreadsheet and, and track those that you call, and we'll go over that with you. Um, you're going to use a sales script that you're comfortable with, and we'll work with you to build a sales script. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of them that have been kind of time tested online. We'll show you how to access those, how to find good ones, and then we'll also show you um, sec some techniques we've used ourselves. I'll go over some things I've done myself, which have proven successful over time. Uh, and uh, one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to research that prospect before you call. So let's say you find that business in Google and, you know, they don't have a, a website, right? They, they don't have a website, but their competitors do. Or maybe they have a website, but it's old and it's not mobile friendly. Um, or, and maybe they've got a newer website, but, it, but they're not getting listed highly in Google local search, right? So there's a variety of reasons um, that they're not performing well. And so you wanna research that customer a little bit, that prospect a little bit, and go check out maybe LinkedIn or Google or something like that, and then get some information about them before you call them. So again, that way, the more information you have at your fingertips, that's gonna help you in that call um, and, uh, and the, the potential, the prospect won't think that you're just, um, you know, that you're just calling a list of people without any understanding of their business. I mean, if you've got an understanding of the business, it's, it's going to help you. And then the main thing that we recommend is what you want to do is set up a meeting. And again, this goes back to why we have, we're doing independent sales reps is we want people in their local communities that will go out and talk to people and meet people face to face. Um, now you don't have to actually do that today, but it certainly helps and it, it definitely helps the closing ratio and it helps get uh, client buy-in. 
uh, if you can meet with them face to face uh, at their at their place of business. Um, and that's the goal of these calls. So when you start talking to somebody, the goal number one is can you set up a time to meet them face to face? Um, and that's really what you want to do because if if you can set up appointments, you know, once your funnel gets going, and let's say you could set up uh, four to five appointments every day, uh, face to face, uh, you can you can um, dramatically grow your income and and your sales goals. Um, and so what I've always had in in my own you know personal sales experiences, if if I have five new and meaningful conversations every day. So I I may call 50 people, you know, um, but if I have five good conversations, I'm going to end up closing one of them. You know, my, my closing ratio typically is like 20% on, you know, no matter how I'm getting leads or whatever, but that it, it's based on actually getting a hold of people so if I have those conversations, I'm going to close one of them. And it may take a couple of weeks to close or something like that. But, but those conversations will turn into sales.